for a few teas, the hungry fairy. Hey everybody. Today we have the Santino Latina self-watering window box planter. I've been looking for an easy way to plant herbs in my windowsill. I found this online and it fit the bill. This particular model is in terracotta, has a capacity of 1.8 gallons, is 6.7 inches high, the top diameter is 15.6 inches, and the bottom diameter is 12.9. It also comes with two cartridges to help maintain the moisture within the soil. At the bottom, there's a water reservoir and it holds 30 ounces, which is refillable with this open spout. So let's take the planter apart and take a look. The inner bin separates. The outer bin is basically just a container to hold the water. There's a visual indicator for the water level. In the inner bin, you have the two cartridges, which looks like a rock-like material. According to the directions, this is to help maintain the moisture level. These cartridges don't look very high-tech but usually the simple stuff will work the best. Don't forget to remove the plastic from them before installing. There's some leftover stones that fell out, but I'm just going to put them back. Reassembling is easy. Just reinsert the inner liner, but make sure it's facing the right way. Otherwise it won't fit like this. The spout won't go back in. Just look for the front where you have a little notch and just line it to the spout. I'm using a potting soil with peat moss. This will help conserve water and maintain the levels. I'm also going to be planting sweet basil. The soil I'm using is from miracle Grow and it's an organic potting mix. You should always try to get the healthiest looking plants from the market. These basil plants were from Whole Foods. They look pretty healthy and they were labeled as organic also. The first step is to put a small layer of soil on the bottom. and just gently pat it down. Second step is to place the plants. Just leave a little space in between so they could grow. And the last step is to fill. Make sure it's evenly filled and it's well supported. I left it a little space on the side for additional plants. In this planter, I just filled to the lower edge. After leveling the soil, you're supposed to water it for a couple of weeks, the normal method. So I just watered it from the top. All the excess water will go down into the reservoir. I had a slight problem filling. To fill, you need a watering can. Because the hole is so small and on the bottom, you're going to have trouble using a large bottle. But it's not necessary. The workaround is just pull the plant out to the edge, and then you can fill it with a regular bottle. This is after a couple of weeks. The plant has been growing pretty well. The planter is easy to use. Once you go past the initial period, you can just start watering from the bottom. 
These basil plants are really thirsty, and I found that they drink about 10 ounces of water a day. But they're looking great, and I'm going to have some awesome basil for my pasta. There's a little bit of maintenance with this, but it's not too bad. All you have to do is every now and then, take out the inner liner and check the bottom of the outer liner. If it's very dirty or anything that's rotten, you just have to rinse it out and replace with water. Other than that, I love this planter. When you get a chance, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.